Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan and today we are in the kitchen because I want to share with you my top five favorite Weight Watchers snacks. And these are going to be snacks that you can prepare ahead of time and then eat as you go rather than store-bought snacks because there are plenty of store-bought snacks. But I wanted to show you just some very cheap, easy, low point snacks that you can make today. I think I've got five of them. I have five snacks for you today. We are going to be making fluff. We are going to be making veggie dip. Those are both zero points. We are also going to be making zucchini chips, which are again, zero points. We're also going to be making a twice baked cauliflower and we're going to make some apple nachos. Now the apple nachos are not a zero point snack. I'm not promising zero point snacks today, although most of them are, they just happen to be my favorite low point snacks, they're zero points. But the apple slices, the apple nachos, they're definitely more points, but they're still delicious and it's still pretty low points, especially because it's super filling. So these are my snacks today. Come with me as we make them. This first snack is called Fluff, and it is my all-time favorite zero-point snack. This is so simple. All you need to do is make the jello according to the package directions for the amount and type of water. So first your hot water and then your cold water. You want to make sure that all of the jello dissolves in the hot water and then just stir the cold water for a minute. When you're done, you'll set this aside for five minutes to set. Keep a washcloth on hand for this next step. It can get a little bit messy, but not too bad. You're going to take your jello and very, very slowly add the jello into the yogurt in your mixing bowl. Keep it mixing and as it gets mixed up and blended together, add a little bit more until it is all mixed in. Then when that's done, you're going to just let it keep mixing and keep going until it gets light and fluffy and has some bubbles on top. When you are sure that it has mixed enough for your preference, you go ahead and put it into containers. I'm currently using sandwich containers from my kids' school lunch boxes because they're not using them right now, and that's what I keep this in. It makes about six servings depending on how you measure it out, but each serving is zero points as well. So you'll put this into your different containers and you'll want to be rather quick before it starts to set. You don't have to hurry too much, but you'll want to be just a bit quick before it sets. Put your tops on, stack them up in the fridge and let it set for about two hours. I have noticed that when I stack mine all the way up, it does take a little bit more than two hours for it to set. So I would plan on two to four hours before you can enjoy this snack. But it does keep in your fridge for about a week. And I'll be honest, I tend to eat one of these every day. So in my house, it goes in about a week. So it's never been too much of a concern to make sure it lasts longer than that. The best part about this snack is that you can make it any flavor you want as long as you are using a sugar-free jello. So I have tried lime, raspberry, and strawberry so far. Raspberry is my favorite, but the strawberry and the lime were also very good. So you can enjoy so many different flavors with this. Enjoy! This second snack could not be more simple. This is called veggie dip and you can dip anything that you want in this. This is so simple. You just take about one cup of your 0% non-fat plain Greek yogurt and put it into a bowl. I usually do this right in the bowl that I will be storing it in as well. Once the yogurt is all in the bowl, you take your whole one ounce packet of ranch dressing mix and put that in the bowl as well and simply mix together. 
that's all you need to do for this dip is just mix the two together. It tastes delicious, it's healthy, it's zero points for this as well, and most likely you'll be dipping some sort of vegetable in this, which will keep this a zero point snack. But if you prefer, you can always dip something like pretzels in this as well. It would taste just as great, and then you would only have the points from your pretzels. Zucchini chips are up next. These are an all-time favorite in my house, and they're so simple to make. Slice your zucchini up pretty thin after washing it, and spray a pan with some cooking spray. Layer your zucchini slices on that pan in a nice thin layer. Do not stack your zucchini chips on top of each other. Sprinkle any seasoning that you want on top, but keep in mind that these will shrink considerably when cooking, so that seasoning is going to be much stronger than you anticipate that it will be. So put less than you think you will need. You're going to put these into your oven for about 45 minutes on 225 degrees Fahrenheit. So yes, that's nice low temperature. Put these in the oven for about 45 minutes, then you're going to take them out, rotate your pan, and put them back in for about a half an hour longer. You'll know that these are done because they will be crispy when you touch them in the oven. So if they're not crispy, just put them in for a few more minutes at the end. When they come out, just let them cool and enjoy. Next is a big time favorite in my house and that is the apple nachos. You're going to take an apple and slice it into nice thin apple slices. Just those little circles is what you want. We don't like the seeds or the core at my house, so what I will do is, for some of them anyways, I do cut a circle in the middle just to get rid of the seeds and the core. I think the star shape is pretty cool, but my kids don't like it there, so that is always an option if you would like. Then you're going to take one tablespoon of peanut butter, which is three points. If you really need a lot of peanut butter for this, you could take two tablespoons, and that's six points. But I like to keep this a lower point snack, and I don't need a lot of peanut butter on mine, so I keep it to the one tablespoon. You'll melt that in the microwave, and it only takes about 15 seconds. Once it's melted, you pour it over the apple. It does not need to be even, it does not need to be smooth. Just kind of splatter it on there like a painting and get it all over your apples. Make sure there's some on most of your slices. Then you're going to take some chocolate chips. You can do regular sized chocolate chips or you can do the mini chocolate chips if you'd like to feel like you're getting more for this snack and it's three points for one tablespoon of chocolate chips as well and if you really want to treat you can throw a couple sprinkles up on top to add a little bit of fun to it as well six points is a little bit higher than what I usually like to make my snacks however this is a very filling snack and it works great when you have that sweet tooth and you just need a little bit of something fun but to keep it healthy in your points as well so I hope you enjoy this six point snack last but not least is my personal favorite this is a twice baked cauliflower when you are finished with this it will make six portions and each portion is zero points however that does not mean that having multiple portions will keep it zero points so you have to be sure that you only make only eat the one portion at a time or make sure that you have put this into your recipes in your app and you do account for when you have more than one portion size. I believe it only goes up by about one point um, for extra portions. I think two portions is one point if I recall correctly. However, one portion really is quite enough. It's very filling for a snack and 
It's great when you're really craving that comfort food, like a mashed potato or um, a baked potato or even a mac and cheese type thing. When you really need that comfort food, this really takes care of it. So what you do here is you boil your cauliflower first and then you'll see me mashing it up in the bowl. When you are done mashing that up, you're going to add in the sour cream, the cheese, and the seasonings, and you're going to stir it just enough to get it all mixed up, and then you'll put it in a Pyrex dish that you have sprayed. It doesn't have to be Pyrex, you'll see me using Pioneer Woman here, but it, it needs to be about a 9x9 nine nine size pan, something where it can kind of spread out a bit. So then what you're going to do is put it in your oven for about 45 minutes and it'll be crispy on top. That's how you'll know that it is done and ready to be eaten. Take it out and let it cool just a bit because really it's quite delicious when it's warm. This is also something that is good warmed up out of your fridge. So if you only eat the one portion at a time, you could portion it out into six different portions and put it in your fridge to heat up and eat later. It's really good warmed up as well. Thanks for joining me today for my top five favorite Weight Watchers snacks. I hope that you found some that are interesting. If you would like to try these, check the description box down below. I will have a link to each of the recipes for you to try at home as well. Leave me a comment down below and let me know which one you think looks delicious and you want to try. Thanks for watching today, guys. Hit subscribe if you'd like to see more Weight Watchers, Day in the Life, and all kinds of other large family stuff. I will see you in the next one. Bye.